Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Primal Liquid and welcome to my guide for shards and magic extract farming on Desigai 5. Okay, so a lot of people have been ha uh, asking me how my stats are so high so soon after the game came out. And that's basically all due to uh, magic, shard, uh, magic extracts and stat shards that you can actually uh, get to increase your stats. Now, there is a hard cap on them, which is 10 million. Uh, some people have said 20 million, however, I've stopped gaining at 10 million, so that's why I'm going to assume the cap is. Whether there's some way to raise that, I don't know. Uh, I have not found it yet. So, for now, I'm sticking to the 10 million cap. But, uh, anyway... Okay, so before you actually begin the farming, there's a few things you're going to need. One is a really powerful Sage class, and the reason for that is you pretty much need Land Decimator, because the map that we're going to be going on has 100 enemies and it's a rather large map. And then one other thing that can really help out is if you actually have Terra Fire. Now, you know, you can use Terra Ice, uh, Terra Star, it doesn't really make that much difference, but uh, the end of boss character, as it were, it actually has 25 resistance to Star. However, her resistance to the other three elements is completely nil, so I prefer to use Terra Fire. Okay, anyway, uh, so before we start, you're going to need to uh, have access to lock. You can do this on the regular version, however, I really don't recommend it. Uh, also, a couple of useful evilties to have. Uh, mental pain, which when capturing a prisoner, you half the prisoner's remaining SP. That just makes the uh, interrogating go much quicker, and that way you can do it all in one trip anyway. Uh, another good evilty is the Taste of Victory, which increases your stats by 1% for every time you clear the map. And obviously, you know, this is going to be a map that you clear hundreds and hundreds of times. Uh, I've personally got uh, a couple hundred clears on it. Uh, another good evilty is Plunder Power, which absorbs 5% of defeated enemy stats. Uh, Meteor Blessing, which increases star damage. I use that for the Overlord Skill Comet Disaster. Uh, Dragon Treasure for some extra stats from equipment. Uh, violence, increased stats by 50%. Uh, a lot of you people who played Disagai 4 will remember that one. Uh, greedy Disposition and Twin Heads. Now, these two I would say are necessities. Uh, greedy Disposition, maybe not so much, but it does give a very nice stat boost. Twin Heads, uh, when you attack without moving, you actually attack twice. That one I would say is definitely a necessity. Uh, it simply does the fact, you know, it allows you to spam Land Decimator much, much more. Okay, so now that we've gone over the basic stats, uh, what you need in Land of Carnage is you need access to the uh, Double Illusion map. Now, chances are if you've got Lock Unlocked, then you more than likely have this unlocked as well. However, before we begin, you want to go to the Cheat Shop. And uh, now, this pretty much depends entirely on your personal preference. Now, me, because I'm uh, quite strong, I can do 20 stars. However, you're going to want to find something that you can clear in, you know, about 8 to 9 turns. You want something where you can kill the boss without dying, you know. You basically want to be able to kill the boss and not die 100% of the time. If you die even once out of 10 clears, then I recommend lowering the star difficulty, because at that point, it's just not worth it. But uh, anyway, yes, yeah, so we're uh, 20 stars. Now, uh, some people like to turn no bonus items off as well. Uh, me personally, I'm going to have it off, simply due to the fact that I don't really consider, you know, any of the items you get from the map to be uh, any good. Uh, another thing I like to do is, if I'm uh, actually reincarnating, then I will have these settings here. Uh, basically 400% XP, 200% mana, and 400% uh, skill XP. That's basically just because I've been leveling a couple of skills. You can completely remove the skill XP. Uh, but because I'm not going to be reincarnating during this video, uh, I'm going to put everything into money. Uh, that's basically just so that uh, we get more stats from greedy uh, disposition. Okay, so that's the uh, cheat shop all sorted. So now let's uh, just make sure I don't have any. Okay, so I've got no shards and no prisoners. So we're going to jump straight into the uh, double illusion map. 
Now, as I was saying previously, what you need is a really good, strong uh, sage. However, having a second sage will also make life much, much easier. And also having the ultimate curry, which I've detailed in a previous video. So, uh, I'll also link that video down in the description if you guys want to see it. It basically gives you a 100% crit chance and around 1.4 billion health. So anyway, let's uh, bring out a weak sage and a maid. And then we'll bring out my OP Sage. Okay, so first I'm going to cast a multi-attacker on my OP Sage. And then with my strong Sage, I'm actually going to cast Land Decimator. Now, it doesn't really matter too much if your made and weak Sage actually die. Because you're only going to need them for this first starting turn anyway. But, okay, so once I've selected Land Decimator with my Strong Sage, I'm going to use uh, Afternoon Tea with the Maid, and that's going to target my OP Sage. And what that does is, basically, I can cast Land Decimator again, getting a total of 6 hits with it. Which, now these 6 hits will basically kill everything on the map. I mean, yeah, you may have uh, the odd 1 or 2 left alive, like, see, I've got a couple there. But that's where Comet Disaster comes in. That basically finishes them off. Now, before you end your turn, I suggest actually moving over to the bridge here. And this way. Now, because you moved before you ended your turn, that's not actually going to affect your um, uh, double attacking. So, again, you know, land decimator to finish off the uh, weaker saggies and then move again. Now, what I like doing is when I'm here, I basically wait here for the strong boss version of Saggy, and then I just keep uh, ending turns until she's within attacking range. Okay, so now she's there, I'm going to use uh, Terrifier, because as you can see by her stats, she's around 40 to 50 million in stats, however, she also has a 45% resistance to star. That means your star magic is going to be doing half the damage as one of the other elements, fire, wind, or ice. And as you can see there, my Terrifier is actually going to do basically half her health, Whereas if I were to use Terra Star, it's only going to do about a quarter. So if we use Terrify it, now this will actually... Okay, no, I, I thought that was going to kill her. Okay, so we'll use the second one. Okay, so because I have... Well, because I have the Megaphone equipped, I actually got 31 prisoners there. That is uh, also something I would strongly recommend using. It basically, you know, it upgrades your chance of getting uh, prisoners much, much more often. Now, let's take a look at the stats on the base shard, so, uh, shall we? So, as you can see right there, you know, I mean, the very base stat is around 7,500 on 20 stars. Now, that will be a lot less on lower amounts. However, it does add up quite quickly, you know. as If you can basically kill everything just using the land decimator and then just quickly form the shards that way, you know, that can be another quick way of getting uh, some good stats. Anyway, okay, so looking here at uh, all the Asagis that I captured, you know, I mean, you can see all their stats, you know, around 20 million, 15 million, but uh, anyway, so we're just going to interrogate these. Now, for which interrogation to use, it does greatly depend on the characters in your actual uh, interrogation unit. So for me, Starve is the best one, four uses, and that will actually completely uh, wipe them out. The reason that I only need 4 UCs is uh, actually because of the LT I have equipped which halves their SP. Okay, anyway, so now that we've uh, interrogated them all, we can actually extract from them. So if we extract all, and there we go, there's a magic extract. And let's just take a look at the stats from that extract, shall we? See right there, uh, that's 141,000 in all stats after one clear. Now, you can actually do 4 or 5 clears before you fill up the interrogation unit. So, uh, you know, you basically every 4 or 5 clears, you're getting around half a million in stats. But if we just condense all of those shards we got right there, and then we can basically see just how, mu how much we gain in terms of stats after one individual clear. Okay, so right there, that's 58,000, 89,000, 47,000, 122,000, 69,000. So, I mean, I, you know, as you can see, you get around 200,000 in stats, you know, two to 300,000 uh, for a single individual clear. Now, how to actually use them is, uh, I would strongly recommend having a maid for this, simply due to the fact that way you can use her evilties to actually use the effects on five people at once. 
So I'll just go ahead and bring my maid out. Now I can't use my OP characters because they're already maxed. So if I just bring uh, a couple of weak characters out. Okay, now let's take a look at these stats, shall we? Okay, so 30,000, 20,000, 80,000, 20,000. Okay, yeah. So let's just uh, quickly use these. Okay. So because of my maid's ability, she can use items on five people at once. So I mean, there you go. An extra 60k speed for them all. An extra 90k hit for them all. And now let's take a look at those stats again. Yeah, I mean, you can see right there, it's a very large increase for them. But, uh, okay, we'll just, uh, we'll quickly plow through all these remaining shards. Now, obviously this is taking a bit longer because I'm going uh, a little slower to explain everything and to actually show everything off. Now, if you were to solely focus on this and basically just stay in the map each and every time for four or five clears, it takes about a minute for a clear. So, you're looking at around, including interrogation and uh, condensing everything, you're looking at around six to seven minutes to... Uh, you know, completely, uh, well, get around a million in stats, basically. Okay, so now that that's all done, let's just uh, quickly clear all this off. And to do that, we'll just, uh, we'll cheat a little and bring up my OP stage. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the shards and extracts. It's very self-explanatory. Uh, now, as I was saying at the start of this video, you know, there is a 10 million stat cap, however, this is something very, very nice to do at the start of j just entering lock. Gives you a nice little boost to uh, really get your stats up where you can start challenging the higher item level items. But, uh, yeah guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope it helps. If it did, then please, by all means, hit that like button or leave a comment. And as always, peace out.